What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Matrix 21, back with a new episode of Fresh Kicks. We're going to overcome sneakers. I get the release information of my general knowledge of the sneaker. But before we get into it, make sure you hit the like, like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Check out my X page of Matrix 21 and my Etsy shop at TD Made It. Both the links are down below in the description. But enough of that. Let's go. Let's get to the kicks. So today we're taking a look at the unheard of Adidas Rivalry Building Bridges. I never heard of unheard of. I mean, I guess it's unheard of, but it's like a dope sneaker. If I wanted to break down and break down overall, look at the sneakers, colors, materials. We just talk about it a little bit. Let's go. So here's the sneaker. It's it's dope, man. Like I said, man, they're really pushing that rivalry silhouette with Adidas, uh, and uh, it's a good looking silhouette. And this looks dope, man. I like the colors on this, the 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 building block, the blocks and stuff like that. Uh, it looks dope, man. It looks really cool. Colors look really nice, and it stands out. So I like it. So the colors used in this are. Pre-loved blue and magic beige. I don't know where they become of these color names from, but I mean it, it is what it is. But it's, it's basically like a beige color sneaker with like a uh, light uh, turquoise or something like that. But it looks cool. I don't know for sure if it comes in this box, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, it, it, it shit, it probably does. It should come in that. But it's pretty dope. Like I said, like I said, you have mostly uh, the tan or beige on the uppers, which is in the, the form of bricks. I mean, like you're building bridges, so you need bricks for bridges. You know, yeah, yeah, you get it. But it's pretty dope, man. They have the logo on the back of one side, and they have Adidas logo on the back of one on the right sneaker. So they, they kind of mix them up, and I like the way when sneakers do stuff like that. Uh, the little small details. It comes in a dust bag, which is pretty cool, and a hang tag with a pig on it. I guess that's the unheard of logo, and it looks pretty cool, man. I, I like it. Also, it's like a light green, like mint, or like a real light mint, uh, pastel mint green. And um, I like it. I like the way it looks. Also, midsole, same color. Uh, a little bit of contrast stitching on it and like the red. It looks pretty cool. Look at the insoles. And like I said, this this pig must be their, like their mascot or their logo or whatever. And it, it, I like the way this looks. It adds a lot of detail to the sneaker. Even though something you won't see once you, I mean, once you put your feet in them, you're not going to see it. And it's going to wear out over time if you wear them a lot. But either way, go. I think that's pretty cool that they actually did this. Uh, it looks pretty nice. I, I like when they do uh, different kind of insoles like that. So. Good job with that. And then just taking a look at the sneaker again, close up. Like I said, you get uh, some nice colors and nice little uh, stuff in the light and the outside. So it looks pretty dope. Uh, I like the way uh, the colors like work together. They, they blue and then tint, they beige work well together. It's like a real light color, not a whole lot of contrast, but it works well together. And it, uh, I like when stuff is, is co cohesive like that. So. So now let's talk about value or my speculated value. We'll go into the release information a little bit later on, so we'll get into that later. But value, let's go. So will these gain value long term? Will they stay the same? Will they? Are these a the sneaker that you want to get and hold on to? And I think it's pretty simple with these. Well, not really simple because I don't really know this brand a lot, but I think it's going to be over retail. And I think it's going to be a sneaker that's going to gain a little bit of money overall. I, I don't think it's going to be uh, below retail. But like I said, I don't know how popular this brand is because I don't know a lot about this brand. But a collaboration and the way they did this sneaker, which that looks like no other sneaker out there, I think it will gain a little bit of money, a little bit of value over terms, time. So, yeah. So, now let's get to Rock Stalker Pass. So what do I think the normal person would do if they actually see these in person? Would they rock them? Would they stock them? Would they pass them all together? Um, it's a dope sneaker. It looks really clean. It looks really different. So I think people are either going to rock these or stock these. You can buy them to see if they gain value or buy them to put them on feet and wear them. Now, it could be a pass as well because it is an out there kind of design that a lot of people may say, yeah, I don't know about these bricks and, and this and that. But I think overall, these are dope sneakers that people will uh, either put on feet and have a conversation, talk about somebody say, what are those? But pretty dope. But get to the recap and the final grade. So these are set to release on October 25th, 2024 for a price tag of 165 bucks. You better find these at Overheard store and Overheard uh, online store. So it's going to be a hard sneaker to get because it's limited to a thousand pair. So if you want these, you definitely got to get up and get to their store today, today, today. I'm late on this video, so, you know, it may be already sold out. But like I said, I like the fact that these uh, proceeds will go to the children's home of Cincinnati. And these uh, kind of represent the skateboards, uh, the skating community of Cincinnati. And I like when they do stuff like that with uh, charities and stuff. So dope, definitely a dope sneaker that looks really cool. I'm sure it comes with that case now that's limited to a thousand pairs. And uh, 165 bucks ain't bad for this. Uh, like I said, they're pushing their rivalry uh, sneaker a lot lately. And these are pretty dope, man. So if you want them, definitely go get them. 
I could use a 7 out of 10. It's a dope sneaker. I like the concept of them. Contrast could have been better in certain areas, but either way I go, it is a really cool sneaker that I went back and added to the collection. So, like I said, 7 out of 10 ain't bad. It's a pretty good score for me. Probably around my average score, if you think about it. Maybe a little bit above average. But I like it. So, let me know what your thoughts are on these. Would you pick these up if you can? A thousand pair. Like I said, I think you got to be in that area. So, if you want them, definitely try to pick them up. Uh, I don't think they're going to sit around. They're going to sell out pretty quickly. So, let me know in the comments how you feel. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Peace. Talk to you all later. Bye. Perfect.